Well, after a bit of thinking, I think I figured out how I'm going to try to get these rods through all these holes that run away through this arbor all the way down there. So I've got a bunch of them that are quite long. It's basically it's three different sizes. Um, I'm planning on staggering them at this end so that the, you know, there's a short one on, and then a long one and a short one as it goes around. But what I want to do is I want to take a rope and depending on which rod I'm working on, it'll be where I tie the bottom to and then the top of this rope will be in the middle piece at the top and it'll wrap around, sort of like this. And then what I'm going to do is slide the rods, this side of the ropes, let them flop, and then they should rest on this rope, if that makes sense. And then, because they won't be on too much of an angle, hopefully I can make the diff bend it just enough to get them through and start it, even if they're a little bit off. Should be okay. I think it should be flexible enough to get them through and then work my way through all the way down and try to do that. So let's give it a go. Don't know how it's going to work, but worth a shot. Well, overall, I'd say that's a good success using the rope thing to kind of balance it up there. And uh, yeah, it went overall, overall went pretty well. A few of the ends were a bit mushroomed, or I guess you call it mushroomed. Basically, the ends were sprayed out or splayed out. So uh, I had either flipped them or I had drill holes that were bigger. And I think the rust made some bits wider than the others. And some holes were painted over a bit and rusty. And so, yeah, but overall, couple, two, three pieces were really a struggle, otherwise it went through quite quickly. So now I'm missing a bit on the end, um, but I'm going to cut those and put them up there when I weld. And that's next on the list is getting basically, getting all these ends ready to, to uh, weld. I'm going to basically grind them, clay polish them up, make some more that I can attach the electrode thingy or the clamp to, and uh, revisit my other welds that I did the other day that were kind of rushed. So. Yeah, let's do that.
well, I'm making good progress. Uh, this weekend, I managed to get quite a lot of welding done. I think nine or 10 welds of the of the rods going across. I'm, today, I've, all I've got to do left is to kind of touch up the welds on the actual, um, you call them the bars that run across the bottom. And then I got to finish about six or seven welds on the rods. And then metal's done. And we're all back in place. Uh, and then I'm going to quickly do a, um, primer red coat of the rust paint on the spots where I've slid the rods through. They're all scratched up. No surprise why I didn't finish painting them in the garage. Uh, and yeah, basically just do that. We'll give that 24 hours and then tomorrow it's going to rain in the morning, but not in the afternoon. So what I'm hoping to do is be able to get a coat of the green on and then I'll finish what I've primed today, maybe two coats. But yeah, I should be done as I expected, hopefully, but we'll see it. Knock on wood. Isn't it really nice to see the armor finally all together after sitting in the garage in pieces for so many years? Um, I'm hoping that in the next vid, I'll get to painting, as long as I get some good weather. But anyways, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please consider giving me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Cheers.